Thank you for joining us. I'm Andrew Ludke, Director of Product Management for AV Solutions at Crestron. And today, I want to share with you the DMNVX E760 Bridging Encoder. More than a decade ago, we helped the industry bridge the analog and digital realm during the AV industry's first digital transformation, sometimes referred to as the analog sunset. Today, we are leading the second digital transformation, taking AV into the IT world. And just as our customers have come to expect, we're creating bridges and pathways to help customers and system designers navigate these transformative changes in technology. Crestron's long leadership in digital video distribution started with the introduction of the first digital media products in 2008. Since then, we've developed more than 200 DM products based around the HD Base T standard. And to date, millions of digital media products have been deployed worldwide, with many of those products still in service today. As the workhorses of the industry, Crestron's digital media products continue to be the go-to solution for system designers looking to implement robust and reliable applications, and for integrators that value the extensive tools and features that allow DM to solve not only the most common use cases, but also to be flexible enough to handle esoteric applications. With such a rich history, and with so many customers continuing to rely on Crestron's digital media HD based T solutions, there's an opportunity and perhaps even a responsibility to once again help our customers continue to leverage those investments while extending their capabilities into the realm of AV over IP. That's where the DM NVX E760 comes in. The new DM NVX E760 brings together our decades long leadership in HD Base T compatible digital media products with our cutting edge DM NVX AV over IP platform. By providing a bridge between the HD Base T products and the NVX AV over IP ecosystem, it opens up a lot of possibilities. The E760 makes it possible to integrate any of our digital media HG Plus and DM Lite transmitters into your NVX ecosystem. With this, system designers have access to all of our single gang and dual gang transmitters, as well as surface mount, single and multi input transmitters. It even has the ability to provide power to many of those upstream transmitters over the HD base T cable. It adds a lot of options to the system designers toolkit. In fact, it's compatible with DMPS presentation switchers and DM matrix switchers. Essentially, anything with a DM light or DM HG plus output is supported, providing a highly flexible and cost effective way to create hybrid system designs. So it solves a lot of interesting use cases. Let's take a look at how some customers are using the bridging encoder. To start with, it provides a solution to one of the most common feature requests we get related to the DM NVX ecosystem. Notably, it provides a way to design systems employing single gang transmitters in wall plates or even floor boxes. Think divisible rooms or flex spaces with movable podiums and such. It also provides the ability to develop migration strategies for customers that have made investments in digital media HD based T solutions, or for that matter, any manufacturer's standards based HD based T product. This is important because there are literally millions of DM endpoints installed around the world. The E760 provides customers the ability to continue to leverage those investments without having to rip and replace everything as they plan a migration to AV over IP. Finally, we know that many system designers continue to prefer to use HD Base T for in room switching, and we continue to invest in new HD Base T products as well. With the E760, customers can continue to employ HD Base T while also taking advantage of some of what AV over IP does so well. In this case, think about room overflow capabilities. So I've mentioned in passing that the DM NVX E760 is compatible with any manufacturer's standards-based HD Base T product. I'm sure you're asking, what do you mean by that? Well, let me first start by saying that we've worked very hard to make NVX the most flexible and interoperable AV over IP solution on the market. And to do so, we've employed just about every security, networking, and AV standard we could possibly employ. This not only provides peace of mind to InfoSec professionals and IT managers, it also makes the AV system designers' lives easier. With the E760, the list of supported standards now includes HD Base T certification. 
By going the extra mile to get HD Base T certification, customers have reassurances that it will not only work with Crestron's digital media products, but that it's also compatible with any product that complies with these HD Base T protocol standards. So to make sure everyone understands this, let's make a comparison to AES67 audio and audio over IP standard. By employing AES67 as the audio transport for the secondary audio stream within the NVX ecosystem, we enable compatibility with literally thousands of products like DSPs, amplifiers, and even active speakers from dozens of manufacturers that also support the AES67 standard. Similarly, by certifying the HD Base T input on the E760, we've enabled compatibility with all of the video transport solutions in the market that also support the HD Base T standard. So that's a lot of third party transmitters and switchers. So customers are not locked into a proprietary ecosystem and have a lot of flexibility to design solutions using best of, pro best of breed products that support these standards. Now I want to address the elephant in the room. I've talked about how the E760 solves one of the most common feature requests, NVX wall plate transmitters. And I'm sure you're wondering why hasn't Crestron built a native NVX wall plate transmitter? I want to first answer that by saying that it's not because we couldn't build one. There's no technical reason we couldn't, but there are reasons we've chosen not to, and there are reasons we have taken a different approach. Let's take a moment to dig a bit under the hood, so to speak. We've made some conscious choices in designing NVX, and one of those choices was to favor building a platform that was flexible, that could evolve and grow and be enhanced over time. We see great value in being able to provide uh, upgrades for NVX to bring new capabilities and new features to the platform through software and firmware upgrades so that customers don't have to rip and replace hardware to take advantage of new features or to support new video standards and formats. To achieve this, we have designed NVX around a reprogrammable chip. And by doing so, this enables a continuous delivery of value. You know, since we've launched NVX in 2017, we have released more than 75 major feature upgrades. And so for customers that installed NVX two years ago, their system is better today than the day it was installed. It has better picture quality through pixel perfect processing. It switches faster and it now supports AES67 audio, enabling compatibility with the solutions I mentioned previously. This brings a ton of value to our customers in terms of investment protection, but there is always a trade-off to these choices. And this flexible architecture built around the reprogrammable chip is no exception. The trade-off is that all the flexibility and upgradability comes at the cost of more heat to dissipate. So the short answer is this architecture generates more heat. So while we could have built a native wall plate transmitter, it would likely be large on the order of a three gang design. It would have to be actively cooled by a fan. Some companies have decided to accept these compromises and have built actively cooled three gang wall plate solutions. But we chose to go a different direction. With the E760, we enable support for slim one gang wall plate products so customers don't have to accept a bulky solution that may introduce fan noise into the space and which could vacuum up dust. We think the E760 provides a more elegant solution that not only answers the need for wall plate solutions, but it also enables all the other possibilities we've already talked about. So NVX is an ecosystem of solutions designed to work together. And now that includes reaching out and providing a bridge to the digital media HD Base T ecosystem as well. With the entire family of NVX products, you can choose the features you need without sacrificing performance or interoperability. Everything you need, nothing you don't, and now a bridge to HD Base T. So we now have a wall plate solution that also enables quite a few other options as well. But you might be asking, what else have we done to support some of the use cases I mentioned? I'll give you one example. I've mentioned several times the ability to support movable podiums and flex rooms. And in many of these system designs, it's important to be able to detect where a device is connected. So the system can auto configure the room. For example, you might want to adjust stage lighting if the podium is connected on stage left as compared to stage right. Earlier this year, we enabled support for LLDP feedback in the NVX ecosystem through one of the free firmware updates I mentioned earlier. LLDP is another industry standard 
It's used by network devices for advertising their identity, capabilities, and neighbors on a local area network. With the implementation of LLDP, a programmer can detect to which network switch port an NVX device is connected and thereby initiate specific settings appropriate for that room, like the lighting scenes I just mentioned. This is just one example, but since this summer, we have released more than a dozen feature upgrades, many of which apply to the DM NVX E760, but in almost all cases, they really apply more broadly to the entire DM NVX ecosystem. Take, for example, stream port selection, which provides system designers the ability to segregate network traffic and split audio, video, USB, and control onto separate networks by assigning them to one of the three or four network ports on the device. A common design is to separate out Dante or AES67 audio onto a separate network. So this is now possible across all products in the product line, including the DMNVX E760. Another great example is the thumbnail preview, which provides the ability to view the stream through the setup web pages of the device to aid in remote troubleshooting. This also enables system designers to place a preview window on the touch panel or mobile web UI. It's common to create a confidence monitor so you can see the source before it's routed. So we've covered the what and the why. The DM NVX E760 bridging encoder is flexible. It solves a wide range of use cases. It provides investment protection, enabling migration strategies, and it facilitates hybrid system designs. Ultimately, it helps system designers and customers navigate a changing and evolving technical landscape, providing options to leverage the enormous number of HD-based T-compatible solutions in the market. The DMNVX E760 makes it easy to deploy one gang wall plate solutions and bridge traditional AV systems with AV over IP. It's perfect for hybrid applications and provides a smooth migration path for existing DM or HD base T solutions. In the next few minutes, you'll learn just how easy and fast it is to configure the E760 with any wide variety of endpoints. The DM input here is the heart of the DMNVX E760. This HD base T input allows DM, DM Lite, DMPS, as well as card and blade based DM switchers to be connected to the endpoint. It also supplies power to the DM and DM Lite endpoints, simplifying installations. In order to supply power to the endpoint, the DM NVX E760 will need to be powered via PoE or through the 24 volt DC power jack with the provided power pack. If the HD base T endpoint is self powered, the DMNVX E760 can work on PoE Plus or with a provided 24 volt DC power pack. If using the DMFCI8, no additional power is needed. To connect endpoints to the DMNVX E760's DM input port, go to the settings menu, navigate to the input, click edit, and from here we can select our DM input type. Currently, we're using the DM light transmitter. We're going to switch to the DM transmitter. Press OK and save. From the same input section, you can also change your HDCP receiver capability as well as the EDID. And here we have our latest feature, Image Preview, which allows you to confirm the video source. And of course, it also includes all of the features of the DM NVX product line, such as AES67, 4K60 444 video encoding, and enterprise-grade security. And remember, the E760 acts like any DM NVX encoder and is interoperable with the entire NVX product line. And it's just that simple. For more information, visit crestron.com slash DM.